Hey everybody, I got a update on this cell. Instead of having one tubular ornament in the water, I am now using four. I'm using the same impedance matching self-resonating circuit as before. You can see the tubes down there. They're three inches in height. The outer shell on each tube is one inch and three and a quarter inch of center tube, which is the center positive. I have reversed the polarity on the tube based on how I was given a suggestion for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this circuit on. This is my 24 volt input in series and we'll see it on the scope right there. This meter is going to be measuring the output, which is a little sloppy to see here, but there is the blocking diode, which then goes to my probe and to my other probe for my meter. So I can read the voltage going to the capacitor, capacitors at RMS. So this is tap water, no electrolyte at all. I have these cells hooked up in series. That is very important because you want the series connection to work with the voltage and not draw a ton of current. All right, with any further ado, let's go ahead and have a look at this and we will measure the power input. Keep in mind this cell has never been conditioned. This is the first time this cell has ever been conditioned. This acrylic tube, by the way, is four inches inner diameter, and I'm able to fit a decent number of these cells in here. I just fit four for good measure. You can see it pouring off the hydrogen pretty well. Kind of looks like a snow globe with all the bubbles in there. Even after running it for quite a decent period of time, the water is completely cold to the touch. But if you ran it for too long and conditioned to the cell, you'd probably get zapped, so it's not a good idea to touch the water at a later stage. So just at a 20 volt maximum here on DC, I'm already capped out. Go ahead and go to 200 there. Now this is 20 volts RMS going to the cell and this is completely freaking out here. So there are the spikes, and I have that voltage zoomed way out. All right, so we are at five levels zoomed out on the scope. We are reading two units, approximately, where the spikes are, and I am on 10x, and I read about 100 volt spikes. What's also really nice about the impedance matching circuit is it is at resonance all the time. I can even turn the power down if I wished. You can see the voltage dropping, and the spikes are going at a lower voltage and higher frequency. I'm actually at a higher frequency right now, and you can kind of see how there's a thicker foam of the smaller bubbles. They're really just scattered all around the cell. Again, you can't achieve this type of voltage if you were to do the cells in parallel. They have to be in series. I'll have a circuit diagram in the description for this. It's really not that involved. When I was starting out, I really did have to replace this BJT many times here because they really are easy to break if you're not careful. Another thing I forgot to mention is you really don't need any charging chokes for this particular circuit. Um, but if I did have a way to incorporate the resonant rod or charging choke, I imagine I could probably get double the output, but I'm not gonna try to fiddle that with that right now. I just wanna condition the cell as much as possible. All right, so I've got both power supplies hooked up. Um, there's only one cable because, yeah, maybe you can tell what's happening there. Okay, so we got the cable right here. And it is going into this meter and I'm reading 16 watts. So with the power consumption at 16 watts, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn this cell off, 
Now let's go ahead and see what the power supplies take at idle. So roughly about 9.9 .9 watts at idle without any power coming out of the supply and there's still a little bit of charge in those caps that is outputting and slowly discharging. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on and let's see what we'll go to. 16, about, it takes about 6 watts of power and you can kind of see the the cell just slowly building up there again. Remember this has only been conditioned for about 30 minutes. Hardly any time at all. I've just built this cell and it seems to be running very 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 well. So if you like this project, that's cool. I'll have a diagram. Uh, I'll have a link that you guys can see. And I'd also like some help getting this coil set up if that is possible or if it is just redundant entirely since I am already in resonance to maybe use it as a charging choke as Myers diagrams have. So, yep, that's it for now, guys.